Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. We went to the Dollar Tree. You can't see Jim, see Jim, can't see Jim, Jim, she can't see Jim. Um, went to the Dollar Tree. Those of you who don't know, I said in one of my last hauls, sorry, this entire bag is full of these things and I think one of them is not wrapped, so I was trying to get the one that wasn't wrapped. Um, yes. So I said in my last shop with me that I'm going to put these on the chandelier. So I went up and I went and I picked up eight of them today. I really like the way it looks. It will hold either a candle or a tea light and they're heavy duty and I just really like it a lot. So I bought eight of those today. Baby, could you break? Oh, you're yawning. Oh, so you're not. Oh, what? you're okay. I was just going to ask you to very carefully put them. I didn't want to rock the arm. Mom got a couple of things. She got an armband for her iPhone so she could listen to music while she walks around the track. And a lanyard for her gym ID. Um, this one that she got is really pretty. It's got, it looks like lemons and little blue flowers. But it's very pastel-y. Wow, the light is yellow, really yellow looking. It's very pastel-y, and it's um, like lemons, and it's hard to tell, but yeah. So that's what Mom got. I found these, which I love. This is my... I hear that. I feel that. This is my favorite find of the day. They're sort of these paper... I feel like they're paper and nylon flowers. I don't know, it's hard to say. But they're with the Americana stuff and there are white flowers. Each bunch has two white flowers, two blue with stars and two red and white stripes. And I love them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but. I know I'm gonna do them. I found this piece of Americana decor which I absolutely loved. It's new to my store this year. I have never seen it before. Um, however, so this says, In God We Trust. And it says, In God We Trust on the banner down here. It's like a corrugated piece of tin or aluminum or something. But down here, you, the, you really can't see it very well. It says, In God We Trust. You know, but um, maybe you can find one that's printed on a little bit better. But I just really love that. And, you know, these would be really cute if you took them apart and made crafts and stuff. A lot of people do that. They add them to their wreaths and stuff. Now, I have some string art from the first time they came out with them. But they came back out with some different string arts. I don't know if you've seen them. But this one says, Hello, Beautiful. And it's got an arrow. And it's got a stand. And it's in a box. And I just think it's so pretty. And the arrow's in pink. And it's on this fake wood grain paper in that pretty country font. This, I was so excited. So I guess it's supposed to be like, it says iced tea. It says cool lime iced tea. They had a peach mango um, smoothie one. Not peach mango. Passion fruit mango. But this just smells so wonderful. And it's in that great like frappuccino jar. The, this is glass and the top is plastic. All right. So that's that. Can you put them in there for me, then? And the last bag, which is full to the brim. So I got Jim two more frosty mugs, and I'll tell you why. The last two I bought, I didn't pay attention to how much water was in them. And when they freeze, do you see the water line? If they're too full and they freeze, they actually like blew out the inside they they bust open they busted open the seam so i got two that weren't totally full to replace the two that we had to get rid of i just watched pam from pam's life hold this this morning and i almost was like i have to go get that but i was so happy to find it it's a magnet and it's a coffee cup and it says a yawn is a silent scream for coffee mm. and i said preach oh. sister preach <laughs> so i had to run out and get it it is so cute i mean it's little it's a magnet but it is so cute um 
Mom bought that armband, and then she actually picked up an armband in Walmart. And then I told her they had them at the Dollar Tree so she could try it and see if she likes the Dollar Tree one, then she could return the one from, um, from Walmart. But they also have these ones at the Dollar Tree. And this is closer to her favorite shade of blue. Um, and it's just got a Velcro armband with elastic and your phone slips in and gets covered on the outside and you can still use it through the touch screen. So I got her that one. I got a really cute pair of socks that say USA and they say on the tag, I love USA and they're long socks. So I got them for Jim to wear with his uniform. I thought, I, you know, he can get away with gray, but I just thought they'd be really cute for like the 4th of July, a Memorial Day, you know, how we kind of keep Americana going. Um, I've said, mentioned this before, but for the view, you, maybe you're new around here and this is your first time. I decorate with my Americana decor in May and I keep it up till September because in May is Memorial Day, June is Flag Day, July is obviously the 4th of July. Unfortunately, there is no flag holiday in August. I'm sure we could make up one. But then there is Labor Day and 9-11 in September. So I kind of keep, that's my summer decor, is to keep my Americana stuff up all summer. So that's why I try to always try, I don't know why she gave me the newspaper. I don't know. I just try to keep um, stuff up all year. I bought something that I didn't need, but I could always use. But I was excited because I wanted to show it to you. They came out with candle snuffers in other colors besides chrome and gold. So they had chrome, brass, they had a pink, like a rose gold color, and this oiled bronze color, which I thought was super cute. And since I love all my black metals, I was like, yes, I'll do that one instead. Thank you very much. That's a surprise for my honey. By the register, they had Garfield stuff, and I was so excited, and it was so cute. So this one says, do the right thing, and it's just a journal, and it's official Garfield. And I said, that was so cute. It's about that big. Um, and then this was a scratch pad, and I thought that was so cute because he's scratching down the... <laughs> and this one doesn't have a magnet. It's just a jot, you know, like a notepad to jot down lists and stuff. I found the rose candle holders so if you don't watch anybody else's hauls you won't even know they have these beautiful rose candle holders oh my gosh they're so pretty and i got them in clear they had them in clear red and pink i believe and i got them in clear and they're this they are just so pretty and they hold a votive or a tea light candle in them and i got two i got a pair and the last thing that I got, that's actually from my honey. I don't know where we're going to put it yet, but together we'll talk about it. And it's this beautiful canvas, and it says, let's run away. And it's a heart and a map. And I just thought, and it's on this great wood grain paper backing. It's not paper, it's canvas, but on this great wood grain backing. And I just thought that was super cute. And we look so cute in our room. And it's something he's always always saying to me. So, see what I got you, babe? Mm -hmm. What are we going to do? <laughs> let's go. He's like, let's go. And that is everything from the Dollar Tree. So, hopefully you enjoyed this haul. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with friends and family. Oh, anybody you know who might be interested in seeing what I got at the Dollar Tree, and if you haven't yet, click subscribe, and when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever we upload a new video. Got it? Got what? Okay. And as always, take care. God bless. See you next time. Bye. Who's mom's? Bye. So I thought I would just jump on here and show you really quick how I redid my chandelier, how it looks with these cups. I, okay, this look when it's done is how I envisioned this chandelier. I do really do love the terracotta pots. Um, I think if it was painted white that would be so pretty for the garden. I don't have any place in my garden to hang it. Um, I do have a front porch but currently there is not 
headspace for a chandelier. Um, maybe someday when we redo it, but right now there isn't. Um, but this is what how I envisioned this uh, with these sort of... I, I feel like these glasses are very elegant, these candle holders. So that's why I did it this way. All right, and I wanted to show you um, what I decided to do was the undersides of these candle holders are um, concave. So basically, um, they don't have a completely flat bottom. The edges are lower than the center. So what I did was I took E6000, and I put E6000 on the edges that were going to touch the um, the railing, where exactly where it was going to touch the railing. And I put Gorilla Hot Glue in the center. Um, and I did that so that it would really hold on. One of the real benefits to doing these cracked glass glasses is that you cannot see the glue through the glass, which is sort of awesome. I mean, you can see it if you look directly and you're looking for glue, but it doesn't show up like it did if it was a clear glass. Um, you can't see it through the glass because of the texture of the glass. It kind of like, is that glue or is that crack? You know, whatever. So, um... Just like we did when we did the tutorial, make sure you work across. You do the one and then do the one opposite across from it so it's balanced. Um, but I really do love the way this came out. And I also pulled them out each a little bit closer to the edge. Um, what I did was um, there is a secondary, a small hook. There's the big hook, the plant hanger's big hook, and then there's the plant hanger's small hook. What I did was I lined the edge of the pot the edge of the pot, the edge of the glass, up against that inside hook. Um, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I went to Walmart today, and I didn't get any more um, E6000. I did get more Gorilla Glue Sticks, but I forgot that I needed E6000 because I hardly ever really use it. Um, but I do like this combination. Thanks to Josie from Life at 50 and Beyond who really was the first person that I saw to use a combination of hot glue and E6000, and the hot glue was to help it set up, to hold it while it was the E6000 was drying, which was pretty awesome. Actually, Crafty Decoria actually showed me that first. Um, she's fun. She's from Canada. If you um, check out her channel, she's awesome. Um, she has some really outside-of-the-box thinking kind of DIYs. Um, also, I've been on the search for the binder rings. I haven't found them in quite some time, but I did think I might add a binder ring to the top of this chandelier just to have it hanging down so it looks like it can hang sometimes if ever I want. Um, I was also thinking that um, just to drill a hole big enough for some jute rope or nautical rope to go through it and you can actually just like tie it off and then hang it that way would be really cool also. And not until today did I realize that I don't really have equal spaces. <laughs> oh, I know what I would tell you. One of the screw heads popped off. So <clears throat> if you see that I'm going to add some hot glue and E6000 to one of the actual inside pegs, that's because one of the screw heads broke off. Um, I forgot when I was doing the craft, the screw head f broke off while I was screwing it in. Um, and then I forgot to actually fix it until today. And I guess the um, the weight of these is heavier than the weight of the um, previous one that was on there. So it kind of like reminded me that it was like loose. So I had to fix it. And then I'm just going to continue with the last two. And um, I'm so grateful and thankful to Google and YouTube and all of you all. Um, for allowing me to do this for you. This channel is just the most amazing experience. I mean, I've had some really amazing experiences in my life, so I won't say the most amazing experience, but it is the greatest venture that I've had in the last five years. It really is. Um, and being able to um, not only make my home look beautiful with these de decorations, but to also be able to teach you all how... Um, it just really does move me. It really does touch my heart. So thank you again. Um, and that's it. We're just going to let this last one set up. 
Now, if it really does bother you that the spaces aren't even, you know, when you're screwing it on, just be mindful of that. I didn't care. I just thought it would look cute either way. Um, if you were hanging it, you really wouldn't notice it up high and was sitting on the table with there's so other so much other stuff going on. So, all right, that's it. So I hope you really enjoy the way this looks. I love the way this looks. I think it is probably the, I don't know, the most elegant looking of all of the glass jars that we tried on. And uh, I just wish I had some candles to put in there. <laughs> I actually um, have to get new ones. <laughs> so here it is. Doesn't it look pretty? So thanks everybody for joining me for this haul and this um, DIY. And as always, take care. God bless. See you next time. Bye. Bye.